Watch. Okay, so everybody, everybody's got a great group here today. Well, today our lesson is about being a neighbor. It's actually entitled, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Which, you might have heard somebody say that, and we'll get to that in a minute. But before we get started, we are going to play a game. And we, we're going to try not to get too excited. I want, I know. So it's going to be fun. So first we have to divide into two groups. We're going to have a blue group and a red group. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Even though I don't have colors. So let's have, let's have four people get in a circle here. Just whatever. I'm going to let you choose. I just don't. Yeah. Okay. We've got the four girls here. And Ansel, do you want to be in one of the groups? Okay. This is the blue group. This is the blue group. Then Ansel, you be over here with the red group. Okay. Declan, Ansel, Sadie, Scarlett, and Max. Does Araya want to be? Well, then Araya can be over here with the girls. In the blue group? Neither. She can be whatever group she wants to be in. So, and so, you, so all of you come up. One, two, three, four, five, and we've got four here. And Araya can be. So you just kind of stand right here in this area, right here. Make form a circle. You can come over here and form a circle. Scoot over a little bit more, so that everybody can see you because it's going to be fun. So come over here just a little bit more. All right. <laughs> come on. This is going to be the hardest part, I guess. Okay, right here, right? Like, I'm in the middle, so you form a circle. Okay, form a circle. Okay. Okay, well, this is, this is the red group, because Ansel wants it to be the red group, and that's fine with me. And this is the blue group. And so, what we're going to do now, um, blue group and red group, is you are going to care for the wounded. So to do this, first of all, we need to choose one person who's going to be a wound, as a designated wounded person. Okay, Scarlett <laughs> raised her hand. She's always willing. So she's going to be the wounded person. Who in this group is going to be the wounded person? Who wants to be a wounded person? It's going to be fun. Okay, Leah, <laughs> wonderful. So to do this, the wounded player is going to be wrapped in an entire roll of toilet paper because we're going to pretend that the toilet paper is bandages and so you people, you know, Peyton and Isla and Julia and on this group, they're going to be, and you're going to be taking care of Scarlett to, you know, bind up the wounds. So when I say go, who should I hand this to? One of you, but you're all going to get to participate except for Leah, who's going to be wrapped, and Scarlett, who's going to be wrapped. When I say go, you start. Okay, everybody ready? Scarlett, you probably should get out a little more so people can see you. So you're out where they, okay. Ready, set, go. Start wrapping, start wrapping. We're gonna see who gets done. And you, and you can help pick up the roll. You can help pick up the roll and help Isla. Yep, you could, you know, see? See, now think about how you could do this. And Ansel can help, and Declan, Sadie, maybe you can hold the roll. You can grab the roll from Max, see how you can do this? Yeah, there you go, keep going. Julian, you can, you can get some pieces and start to wrap around Leah. Is it not Steve? Oh, no, the other Should we wrap her, should we wrap her head up? We'll, we'll, give, you, we'll give you a couple minutes. Okay, but we got to do it quietly because remember, the wounded is, is How's it going? Julia, can you, can you put some of the bandages on Leah? Maybe drape them on her head. Put them, put them around her arm. Can you put them around her arm? I'm going to need a lot of help. Scarlett, you hurt yourself. Okay, we're going to do this for two more minutes, and then whoever's done. <laughs> All right, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. 
<laughs> All right, we're going to count down. No, don't scream. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who got the most roll done? Let's see the two rolls. Pretty, I think it's, I think it's a tie. Let's uh, Actually, I think. It's just about a tie. You're uh, right. Yep. Keep these on. So who yeah. wants to pick up all the? Now we need a helpers to put all the tissue in there real quick. Oh, I want to see the bandages. I'm ripping no, all your bandages, bandages off. Pulling my hair. Let's get our bandages in so we can learn our lesson from all this. All right. Okay. Keep pushing the in, the in, and then go find a seat, and we'll figure out why we did this bandage experiment. Did you get everything? Pick up every little last piece because the person that vacuums is not going to be happy with us. Okay, let's go over here and sit. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, so there's that whole experiment, but we're not going to talk about that quite yet. I'm going to finish up with that. But I did say that the name of our talk today was who would, you know, was, won't you be my neighbor? And who has said that many times? Have you ever seen this man? Oh, and Daniel Tiger does? Okay. And also, right, who? Mr. Rogers. He, his program, I should say, his program has been around for a really, really, really long time. And he always starts out and he sings, What? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor, right? Could you be mine? Right, Ansel? Would you be mine? And Daniel Tiger? Is Daniel Tiger too? And, oh, okay, yeah. Well, so, who are our neighbors? The church is your, you're right. It's the... the Okay, Scarlett's kind of, right, because Mr. Rogers saw all people as neighbors, right? So as Scarlett just said, would the people be in, in the red group be your neighbor? Yes. And red group, would the people in blue group be your neighbor? Yes. Because everybody here is, what about all those people out there in the congregation, are they our neighbors? Yes. Well, the Bible, I thought of my Bible up. Well, I get it. I guess it's sitting back there. But anyway, in Luke 10, the Bible tells us that one time a lawyer came to Jesus and he asked how he could have eternal life. And Jesus answered him and he said, he said, uh, you should love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. So, Let's say that together. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. He told the lawyer that's how he could have eternal life. But then the lawyer said, well, then who's my neighbor? So then, right in, Jesus told him a story because, and it was called a parable. It's called a parable because Jesus often used stories for that. So he talked about a man... A Jewish man, he was traveling from Jerusalem. He was attacked by robbers. And he was left to die. And as he was laying along the road, a Jewish leader saw him. I'm going to show you his picture. A Jewish leader saw him, and you can see him way over there. He walked right on by. Then a priest saw him, walked right on by. But then a Samaritan man, who really, they were considered enemies of the Jewish people, he stopped, he helped the man, he bandaged him, just like what you were pretending to do, right? He took care of his wounds, and he even took him to a hotel, and he gave the hotel keeper money to pay for his care. So then after the story, Jesus asked, which of these three men was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by the robbers? Which one was? 
the Samaritan, right. It's the story of the Good Samaritan, yes. And the lawyer knew that. The lawyer knew that the, this man that acted so nicely was a Samaritan who should have been his enemy. And Jesus told the lawyer, now go and love your neighbor. So he was telling him, even if he's your enemy, you should love him. So now, thinking about the game we played, is there anything that we could have done differently? If, for instance, one side had finished, I, I just knew that roll was just taken too long, but if one side had finished up the whole roll of toilet paper and the other side was still struggling, what could we have done differently? Scarlett! You go help them. Right, go help them, right? Because we're all, we're supposed to be taking care of everyone and not just our group. And I think that you already do that a lot anyway because you all share among yourselves. But when you're maybe at school, but maybe when you're at school or something, and you know you're kind of divided into groups or whatever. I see that. But what if, what if you saw, found somebody else, that you were walking along the street or something and you saw someone that didn't have shoes and they needed shoes? Should we help that person? We should think about it and we should see if there's something that we could do to help them. Maybe even taking them into a shoe store and buying them some, a pair of shoes, right? So is everyone our neighbor? Yes. They are. And Jesus wants us to know that. People that we've never met, people that we meet along the way, people that don't have shoes, they're all our neighbors. And so God wants us to be good neighbors. So we've got... Who has... I kept trying to think. Sadie, have you ever handed these out or do you want to? Have you ever... Have you done it? I didn't think you ever had. Well, this time we'll have, we'll have, I think I'd had you do it, Julia, but I was thinking ahead, and I was thinking that I hadn't had Sadie do it, so I'll have to keep track better. All right, well, thank you very much.